Hey guys, it's Poxpro. Welcome back to another video. Today in Fallout 76, we're going to be going over how to craft stim packs. So the main source is going to be ticks. So we're actually going to go ahead and head over to a location, a unmarked shed in the mire that has a very large uh, tick spawn rate. Apparently it can reliably spawn around eight ticks. Um, and that's going to be very important for the material that we need. So as you can see, antiseptic is needed to craft various medical supplies, such as a blood pack. Um, and you also need tick blood for a blood pack. So it kind of doubles up. Um, and then on top of that, you also need uh, blood packs in order to craft stem packs along with antiseptic. So the best way, in my opinion, is just to farm ticks because you can get all the material you need to craft all of these things uh, just from ticks. All right, guys, so this is the region on the map where we're going to be looking for. And as you can see, this person's custom location is actually on the, a location called Big B's Rest Stop. And it's going to be uh, a unmarked shed west from this location. So never eat squiggly worms. So it's going to be in this direction. And I'll go ahead and show you guys on the map when we're actually there. All right, so I have arrived at the shed and you can see I'm already being attacked by the ticks. So there's, let's see how many there are. One, two, like nine, I think. Okay, so it looks like, yeah, there's about nine ticks in this little shed. And I'll go ahead and show you on the map. It is west from this location, kind of like below this 108 right here. And this is where the shed is, and this is what it's gonna pretty much look like. And this is where we can find our tick spawn. And this is in a exterior location, so this is gonna be server hoppable. Um, I would recommend just server hopping on this location and farming the ticks a bunch. We can go ahead and look at what they drop. And you can see that this drops a tick blood sack. When you scrap this down, this is gonna give you two antiseptic. Boom. And then we can go ahead and look at this one. This guy also has another tick blood sack. That's another two antiseptic. And then on top of dropping the tick blood sack for the antiseptic, they also drop tick blood. And tick blood is going to be pretty important for crafting the blood packs as it's a core ingredient. So now we get the antiseptic and we have the tick blood and that's all we need for the blood packs. So we can snag all this and then we can go ahead and loot this one. And this also has tick blood and tick blood sack. This has tick sack. This has tick sack. This has a tick blood and tick blood sack. So overall, you get a decent amount of both materials and this area is farmable. So you just server hop, keep farming it until you have all of the material that you need and then you're set to go. And just don't forget when you're crafting to use a super duper so you can get that double um, yield. And I believe there's also a perk that will increase the amount of chems that you get when you are crafting. It is a int perk called chemist and only costs one point. So with the with both the perk cards, you're gonna need a total of four uh, skill points, three for super duper, which is a luck perk, and then you're gonna need one perk point for the for the chemist one, which is an int perk, and then from there you can get two times the loot twice. <laughs> so I don't actually know how it would stack. It might end up just being double double. So if it procs, it'd be four times the loot. Um, and yeah, so right here we have the tick blood for the blood packs and the antiseptic. Um, and we also have antiseptic if you're going to be crafting like right away or any other meds or like, you know, stem pack supers. Uh, stem pack supers also take blood packs. And then if you want to craft the stem pack, we have the antiseptic, we have the blood pack and you just need steel, but steel is fairly common to get. So I'm not going to go ahead and go over that. Um, but yeah, that's going to be pretty much it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please feel free to let me know in the comment section below. If you have any positive or negative feedback, also let me know. That way I can improve. But otherwise, until next time, guys.